What's up my Zabels? Welcome back to the channel you guys. Welcome back to another video. If you're new right here, hey what's up? Welcome. My name is Courtney but I go by Giselle Sims and come along on this journey with us and join the family. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. So if you post them while you're down there, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up because we're lit over here. Okay, the family will tell you period. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video y'all. Welcome to another build tour. Okay, period. So I've been telling you guys that I was going to be giving you guys a um, hospital tour of this build that I did a while back and it's been long overdue. The girl has been working, working, working and honestly, I just been literally trying to get as much done as possible so I don't got to overwork myself. But we're going to get into this tour y'all. So this is my St. Joseph Hospital and I'm pretty sure you guys seen me playing with this and for my machinima parts i'm pretty sure you guys seen my girl simply wife playing with it and her machinima parts for her teen pregnancy pack y'all and i'm just so honored to even have my sis playing with my builds in her game having my builds in her game just means a lot to me having my builds in anybody's game honestly y'all means a lot to me because y'all know i work super super hard on my builds and I don't just give you guys like a rush job i literally try to give you guys what you're asking for what you want and things like that i might not get to it as soon as y'all want it done but um yeah it's it's definitely coming uh so i do have a build that i'm actually currently working on y'all and this is gonna be a nice apartment it's gonna be like another luxurious apartment um six apartments two on each floor and basically like a three level I might tweak it and do it a little different but this one's going to be more so like a non no max i mean no cc at all build it's just going to have straight base game so everything that i got in my game i will be using so it's going to be kind of interesting but anyway as y'all see this is the parking lot of the hospital you have so many different ways to enter and things like that you got cars coming in fedex coming in they're leaving out you know it's just the whole vibe everybody's in and out in and out in and out you know so we're gonna start over here in the emergency area first and i should probably put like an emergency sign so y'all know which side is what so you have a childbirth and then you have emergency so like labor and delivery labor and delivery and you also have emergency so um there's two ways to enter so you can come through this side or there's a door on that side this is actually an expi inspire build a bill that I actually a hospital that I used to go to okay so got the wheelchairs and stuff like that it's not fully inspired like it's not fully the way that the hospital is that I, I used to go to but it's somewhat there it's partially there okay but we got the wheelchairs right here so you know if you need a wheelchair you come on in here y'all that's what you see so you got your basically your map of how how big the hospital is where to go and things like that and it's kind of cool because it makes sense because sort of kind of that's like what the hospital is giving you have your waiting area here okay you got some patients just sitting here waiting they got their little things on the wall you have a play area basically for like the sick kids if they're waiting around they got stuff that they can do while they're just waiting in the hospital of course you got the tv you got some books some toys um couches and stuff like that all that good stuff and then you have regular tv here for the other um patients that's waiting um right here is, is actually a i think this is a child room yeah this is the taller room it doesn't really function as like a sick patient i wish there was sick patients for toddlers as well because that would have been so cool for us to have that but i think you only get sick kids so if you need more rooms y'all y'all can definitely change this bed out and place one of the hospital beds and then when you come in you can put your bags and stuff there not knowing if you're going to get admitted or not but you know they just have everything you need in the room for the time being you know what i'm saying so yeah um coming on out we got the water fountain cooler this is another waiting area right here we got the deco sim sitting here and yeah if y'all have not yet checked out that teen pregnancy pack the last episode be sure to check it out y'all i thought it was really cool how she did it she made it seem like you know my girl 
Raya was at the in the waiting room, and then like the desk, deco stems were disappearing. Super cute, super realistic. I love it. Um, this is the bathroom, and it's two stalls in here. Got the sinks and stuff like that. The changing table. I didn't add a taller area this time because, yeah. <laughs> And then come in over here, you got the water fountain, you got a desk area for the nurses, another bathroom right here, same as the one next door. And then this is where you check in. So you have your check in area right here. There's actually a receptionist here waiting to check in some patients. And she must have a headache. I don't know. <laughs> she must have a headache, but I don't see Naja today. Naja must not be over here on this side. So, um, this is one of the other rooms here y'all and you come in this is one of the rooms boom boom period got a couch here just in case you have you know a guest with you and y'all here longer than expected the guest could take a nap okay instead of trying to take a nap in the waiting area you could come in your in the room with your patient with the patient and take a nap there so yeah then you have another area right here and this is a little bigger a little more spacious in this room got a tv and things in here too just in case you have to stay overnight like i said and all that good stuff put your luggage and stuff right there your bags blankets whatever and then come on out let's go into the next part so over here uh we're gonna go through this way actually so got a vacuum but this is where like the ambulance come when they have a patient or whatever an emergency they'll bring the patient here boom boom the doctors the nurse whatever they'll come out grab the patient and take them here and go through that door over there but right here is their cafeteria so they do have a cafeteria area that you can come and eat at so nobody's in here right now clearly i guess because it's super early in the morning but we have a chick-fil-a we have a chipotle we have a jamba juice and we have a subway and they go through this part to get to the um the stalls so they do have space it's not like they don't and then we got some vending machines we got um another cafeteria little uh stall here so you can order food but also most most of the time they normally just get snacks okay out the vending machines or you come in here to get coffee or a little fountain drink you know what i'm saying nothing too too much not too too much all right so coming on and we got cameras everywhere you go okay so coming back out here so this is where oh wait i'm missing a room so this is another child room on this side but you can definitely change it out like i said but this is another child room nothing too much in here i changed the wallpaper pattern of course like the color so just say that your patient the patient has been called or they need to do some extra work or whatever oh and also y'all if you have the private practice mod um you guys can add some stuff back here as well which will make sense or however you would do it but as for right now of me what i did was because i needed more space so we put the treadmill here right there the heart rate thing um and then you can set this lot as a private practice. It doesn't necessarily have to be the hospital one. The only thing about it is you'll have to place it down on a 50 by 40 lot if you wanna use it as the private practice lot or just for realistic purposes. If you don't have you know, all the mods and you wanna just play with this hospital, you can set it as a residential or however it is that you wanna do it, you know? Um, but yeah, so this is the area where the nurses come and they, you know, fill out information, th things like that. They have their little science tables and all that stuff but you can also add some stuff in here like is I, I put a door here y'all but just because you see the door don't just ignore it okay but you can put some private practice stuff down here back here okay we got a laundry room back here this is where they wash their clothes with like their um gowns they wash the towels washcloths stuff like that they do wash them in here and then you have your surgical well this is your x-ray room actually <laughs> x-ray room here and then you have your surgical area this is where you can have your this is where you go get your emergency surgeries emergency c-section and things like that but you also could do that in the labor and delivery area also it's not just this side not just this side okay 
so now that we did the emergency side y'all we're gonna go ahead and go over to the labor and delivery area which is super super duper 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 super cute and i actually love both sides honestly but of course we love the babies we love you know happy moments and stuff like that so we definitely put more into the other side not saying i didn't put as much effort into that side because i actually did but this side just has more things going on in here if y'all get what i mean so i got a pay phone got the mailbox so you got sims coming in there's a way you can enter through that way or you can come through this double door here getting dropped off whatever oh my god she's in labor oh and then you have like some seating areas over here you know if the sims want to smoke real quick before they go in they can smoke on the benches and stuff like that but yeah so let's go ahead and go in so of course if they water broke or whatever here's the wheelchairs so when you come in this is what you see boom 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 okay so you have two restrooms right here to your left and it's three stalls in here got the sink area the changing table and all that stuff because you know when you're in labor and things like that your family wants to come along they can definitely do so got the water fountain another restroom this one only has one stall in it it's given more like a family restroom you know um okay so then coming this way you got a deco sim like she's going into the waiting area but technically this is the waiting room so they do have countertops they have sink, a sink a tv there's a microwave in here but this is what they'll wait you know what i'm saying if the patient needs a break from the visitors and stuff like that or if they don't want to go home just yet or they want to spend the night more so they're going to sleep in here okay coming on this way so that's like a little area where you can just check in or whatever but right here is the actual check-in spot so um normally there's a worker here at this desk sometimes just chilling but not today i guess not today do you have a gift shop here y'all so this is the gift shop i didn't do too much in the gift shop because of course you can't buy these items unless you like have the mod by little miss sam where you can set things as a retail i think so you can start buying stuff while you're in different lots that's not that lot like a retail lot i don't know but i did set up like to where you can just you know pick up some baby gifts like congratulations oh it's a girl it's a boy whatever sweet baby and all that stuff some roses and things like that little tiny little knickknacks that you can get from the gift shop um so coming over here you have some more computers they're not functional they're just deco ones and i just love to keep them simple like that because i don't want it, too many computers in the office and then all my sims are just scattering everywhere because that, that'd be crazy <laughs> so this right here is the NICU room here so this is where all the small babies go the premature babies they come in here you know just like realistic purposes of course y'all if y'all want to make it realistic and have like a machinima part your baby's in here or your tendency to your baby while your baby's in here you know what i'm saying that, that's super cute and it's realistic so i put three of them in here and then of course there normally would be a nurse right here sitting down monitoring everything checking her computer checking everybody all the babies um things and stuff like that making sure they're good of course so let me take a picture of this because i actually i don't think i took a picture of that okay so coming out of there this is the area that you always see my girl brielle walking to so here is the ultrasound room here this is where they get their ultrasounds i have a deco sim here but this is where they get the ultrasounds done okay the ultrasound table the bed is by panda sama for those who do not know panda sama get your ultrasound now, i only have one because it's not like they come here every day or it's a lot of sims is coming to get ultrasounds no they normally are coming here for either ultrasound or to be seen by a doctor so i don't have too many in this area then you have your pap smear room this is where they come and get their physicals done and stuff like that getting checked and make sure they don't got nothing and stuff like that of that nature so it's just this in here it's not too much going on in this room here okay now we're gonna come out they got some lockers here for the employers but coming in this way you have the lemay's class this is one of my lemay's buildings i'm going to show you another one that i did do another build that i did do um i will show it to you guys this is the updated version of this so i'm gonna have to put the updated 
build on my patreon the other one didn't have this this the other one had an extra weigh-in area but i decided to make another lemay's class not knowing that you didn't necessarily have to have it here but i figured it out y'all i figured it out okay so this is another lemay's class area well lemay's class then in here you have another area for the nurses this is a room so when you are about to deliver your baby you can come in here you know what i'm saying and make it realistic got to change the table for the, when the baby's born got the baby's bed when the baby's born but more so it doesn't work for infants like the newborns it's work only works for infants y'all so you got to make sure you age up your baby to an infant but yeah unless you want to change that out and just put something else you could uh normally what i do if i want to after the hospital scene part and i still want to be at the hospital with my baby and my sim I would just place it down on a regular lot, set it as a residential, and put some nurses up in here, a doctor up in here, and move that sim and that baby in that on that lot, and do it like that. That's what I normally do. Got a couch here for whoever will sleep here. Got some, you know, the TV, things like that, yoga ball. There's a restroom in here, and it actually has a fully functional shower where they actually can get in there. Got your toilet space, your sink, all that good stuff there. So yeah, it actually looks decent. It's actually a nice size uh, room for your patient, of course. And then coming out these doors again, this is the last part. And I didn't show you this wall. This is be the reason someone smiles today. Okay, I love that. Coming through this way, this is another area where you can actually deliver your child. Um, so we got some more spaces here. This is like a little break room, which the refrigerator is missing. But it's a break room here. I needed to put the coffee thing here too just in case you don't want to go to the opposite side and go get you know food and stuff from that cafeteria you know but this is where the water breath is and there's just stuff on the floor because of course they just want to get to it real quick um and then you have the other area where they can get birth in this room this is the other room it's a little smaller than the last one but it does have a restroom and the bathroom is a nice big old decent size as well so yeah if you want to use it for real estate purposes you definitely can or you just want to bring your sim to this um hospital just because do it too like i honestly i love this build this build is fun it's a lot to do in here but yeah this is the end of the tour y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed it if y'all did be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and join the zebel gang 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 if you haven't by now we would love to have you guys over here on this side so subscribe join the family y'all let's chat it up in the comment section down below let me know what y'all thought about this build if y'all gonna get in your game if you already got in your game let me know because like i said it's already on my patreon but the updated one will be on my patreon as well for the lemay's class if you guys want that stay tuned for another lemay's class tour build okay y'all because i'm working i told you your girl is working but i love y'all so much and i will talk to y'all in the next video matter of fact i'll talk to you in the comments Bye. Hey, belly uh, band, uh, take uh, a look. Uh, belly